Hi guys and welcome to the Accrington vs Sunderland match review. Now, apologies, my voice is an absolute bits after yesterday's game, but what a result it was. 3-1 to the lads, 3-1 to Sunderland. And before we get into it, I just want to say yeah, a massive thank you to everyone that I saw there. It was awesome seeing a lot of you guys, met so many of you, caught up with so many people as well. It was just a really, really good day and I'm actually very, very sunburnt because it was red hot. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it was a class, class away day. I always love Aki away, as you know. But getting into the match review itself, this is the lineup we went with. We had John McLaughlin in goal. We had Denver Hume on the left of defence. Uh, Luke O'Nine on the right of defence. Then in the middle of defence, we had uh, Willis and Ozturk, as expected. Dobson was brought into the middle, which is exactly what I wanted, exactly what I wanted to see, which is fantastic. Who was uh, in the middle with Grant Ledbitter, and then we had uh, we had Gooch on the right, McGeady on the left, and up top we had McNulty and Maguire, which I'm pretty sure is the exact team that I said was my preferred eleven in the preview to this game. So I was really happy with that. Great to see Dobson, but within a couple of minutes we're a goal down, and it was a simple hoof over the top, misjudged by Willis. Uh, to be fair, I think McLaughlin should have done a lot better with it, a lot better. I think he's came out and committed himself too quickly when he was never going to get anywhere near the ball. That Quinton striker, he's managed to nick it round um, McLaughlin and stick it into an empty net. So I thought, shit, we're going to go absolutely battered here because our defence looked terrible. But rest assured, they did you know, sort themselves out defensively. I think we're a lot better as the game went on. But just a few minutes later, a few minutes after conceding and going a goal behind, it was an absolute sensational goal from Lyndon Gooch. You know, he's so inconsistent with his form. But yesterday, he was I think he was really good. And, and the goal he scored was worthy of winning any game. Uh, throwing on the left-hand side, made its way to Hume, who was very good attacking-wise throughout the day. And uh, he got it across goal. And it was almost like a semi-bicycle kick on the turn, right into the top corner, one all, And it, it was an absolutely class finish. Then we go on to make it 2-1, and this is where we become to get a little bit more ruthless. We were very, very clinical in that first half, which I like to see. But the second goal, nevertheless, it, um, it fell to McGeady. It was poor, poor defending from Accrington, it's got to be said. They had an opportunity for one of their players to clear, clear it away, and they just kind of give up on the ball and just allow McGeady to get control of it, you know, get it out of his stride, and then just dink it into that top corner, and it was a top-class finish. It really was. And then we quickly, again, made it 3-1, and... Um, Maguire on the right hand side does excellently well, very unselfish, he cuts inside, he could have gone for goal himself which I th originally thought he should have done but he just plays it across goal for McNulty to tap it into an empty net and it's 3-1. So at half time 3-1 and at this point I want I wanted just to keep going, I wanted to keep going for it because we looked so so clinical, defensively we looked a bit shaky, I think generally we we were quite evenly matched to be fair, I'm not going to say we absolutely shit all over Accrington because we didn't because they had chances of their own. Uh, a couple of saves from McLaughlin, they hit the bar as well, which was very uh, fortunate for us. They had a shot on the right-hand side, took a big deflection off Willis, looped McLaughlin, it just it just bounced off the bar. Um, but but yeah, it was, I think the luck was on our side a little bit as well to make it 3-1. So, you know, I, I'll take it. it. It was a better performance, definitely, um, in, in comparison to the Peterborough game, because we actually had a bit of, we had a bit of bite going forward, which we hadn't seen in quite a few weeks. Dobson in the middle, I think, was good. As well, I think it, on the whole, I think their midfield in the centre they seem to still overrun us a little bit, which is quite a worry. I think we need to try and find out what the best partnership is in the middle because for me, I think Dobson was good. He was really good in terms of, of his defensive play. He made some very good last ditch challenges, and he also got forward. Whereas Ledbetter, I think he was a bit anonymous at times. Grant Ledbetter, and I just thought I completely forgot he was even on the pitch. So I think it's trying to find that right combination. I mean, McGee up did come on towards the latter end of the game. And they do look like a really good partnership, them two. I feel like they complement each other very well with Dobson and McGeoch. That them two were the more sort of, you know, you know, you know, they were the better combination when we saw them against Burnley. I think they were fantastic then. But I think to see them two together anyway. I think um, that could potentially be the way forward. You know, there's not a massive sort of physical presence between the two, but McGeochy is very good at shielding that defence in terms of just spraying the ball out. Dobson is showing that he can get forward as well as drop back as well. So I think playing them two together for me would probably be a, a, a very interesting way to go, McGeoch and uh, and Dobson. But uh, but yeah, in the second half, as I say, it, it, we we kind of just calmed down. We kind of weathered the storm. Um, nothing really in it. It weren't, it weren't a great watch at all. The second half, quite scrappy, but it was very even. Uh, Will Grigg did come on and he had an absolutely fantastic chance. I think, 
You know, because we were so clinical, I thought if he's, if he's going to score in any game, it's going to be in this one. But he come on, he slipped through, he slipped cross goal, he just needs to put it anywhere, left or right of the keeper, and he kind of scuffs the ball a little bit and it goes straight at him. And, it, and it's a massive shame, and a big thing has been made of it on social media, you know. What is wrong with Will Grigg? Why isn't he scoring goals? And is it a big confidence thing for him? I, I think it probably is. I, I think, you know, he got that goal against Burnley and I thought he might kick on. I think he probably is best to use him as a super sub to try and get, at least he's getting into these kind of positions but it, it, the luck isn't, it just isn't going for him at the minute and he's it, not putting these chances away that he is getting. But, you know, I, I'm sure we'll get there with him. But for me, it, he's a super sub at best at the minute because, it, unfortunately, as much as, you know, it, it, he's trying uh, and, and he did, you know, he came on and he was a bit of a nuisance, it just isn't falling for him and it isn't good enough really, unfortunately, and that's just the be all and end all of it. But like I said, of course, I do hope it goes well for him. I hope it, it, everything falls into place for him. But yeah, but it, it did. It finished three one, and I think it's a it, it's an incredibly incredibly good result. It's a, it's a very very good result because Accrington they really did battle away. It's not an easy game at Accrington, and I think the scoreline probably flattered us a little bit. I think we just went through a phase in that first half where, like I say, we were so clinical and so ruthless, and every time we went forward, we looked like we were going to score. Um, second half, it just dragged for me. It just dragged. Um, but yeah, that, that that was pretty much it. And right now, I believe we are fourth in the league, if I remember correctly. I'll uh, just quickly check the league table. No, we're fifth. We're fifth, but we're level on points uh, with Fleetwood, who are fourth as well. So at the minute, we have Coventry, top of the league. Uh, we have Ipswich in second, Wickham in third, and we are level with uh, with Fleetwood, who are in fourth, and we're in fifth. Peterbridge to point behind us as well. Next week, we do take on Rotherham at the Stage of Light on Tuesday night. That is going to be a really tough task because they're going to be absolutely brimming with confidence because yesterday they beat Bolton by six goals to one, which, you know, hopefully that means that next weekend when we play Bolton, we can get a similar scoreline and rack up a few goals ourselves. But it is going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a really difficult one against Rotherham because they're a good side. And like I say, after that, yesterday showing from them, they're going to be absolutely full of confidence. But hopefully... You know, we can take the game too. Then we are at the stage of light. And, you know, Bolton, they have half a squad essentially, don't they? They're not, you know, they've try, just tried to assemble an entirely new squad, which doesn't always, you know, it, it doesn't work overnight that. So hopefully when they do come up against a more a more quality side, you know, without any disrespect without any disrespect to Bolton, hopefully it hits them hard and it gives them a bit of a shock and we can give them a game on Tuesday and keep this winning run going because I think the most important thing yesterday, it was simply to get a win. That, that, that That's the be-all and end-all of it, regardless of the performance. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is destroyed. <laughs> that's what Aki does to you. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, the biggest thing for me yesterday, regardless of the performance, we needed a win after that horrible, horrible defeat against Peterborough. We needed to win and that was the be-all and end-all of it. But that is it, guys. We're back to winning ways. Fantastic. Hopefully we can follow this through. Uh, on Tuesday against Rotherham as I say but if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button for me it would be massively massively appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army but for now you take care and stay jamming <laughs>